when we talk about data and the initial years uh, big data was across mainly these three uh, three these three axes uh, you could sort of say volume which we talked about like from uh, you know gb tb now we're talking about zeta bytes zeta bytes is one zeta byte is a trillion bytes of data okay in terms of velocity velocity is the speed at which the data is coming in uh, and the processing required initially it was batch and real real time and now real time so that's that's how big data is being processed and then we have variety in terms of variety again we talked about structured data uh, unstructured data uh, delimited text etc so binary text etc these are this is initially this is how it was big data now is talked about across the five weeks it's definitely of course volume is a very big part of it we talked about the 2.5 quintillion bytes of data that is generated every day we also talked about the velocity the speed at which the data is emanating and the changes that are happening because of on that data so if google taxi is sending out data into a central server you know it's not just a one time send it is constantly ch- changing and uploading the information just like we all use um, you know google maps to check when we are traveling in an uber or in uh, ola similarly it's constantly changing and it's constantly updating the servers and it's constantly giving that information so the speed is just as important we talked about variety we said both structured data unstructured data so you know emails files um, our feedback that we get you know we call up and give a feedback we have a con- phone call we so voice uh, emails then we talked about uh, there could be music there could be some twitter feedback there could be some videos uh, so, and when we pull that together and you will see through in our applications that we, as we go how that is used veracity now these these to the last two ways are the two new ways that have been added because veracity is when you remember i spoke about the fact that data is not clear it's not clean it's not clear so just to make sure verifying or veracity or verifying that the data that is there is accurate is a critical portion and almost 27% of businesses are not sure if the data they are working on is accurate so for example when we feed information about uh, you know when we create uh, an account for ourselves we sometimes give wrong information or we don't give complete information in in india we have the problem about names are spelled differently a sangeeta can be spelled with a uh, s a n g e t h a or a d just a j without the h similarly you know um, uh, places there are different uh, ways in which places are spread so especially we have uh, we have also long names now if that name naming convention is not correct if the la- first name last name middle name and if the address is not correct or if that bank account detail is not correct that creates a huge problem for from a database managing perspective and it is it is magnified in the area of a big data the last thing is extracting the value if i have so much data and i have this pretty lot of bytes of data great i mean and it's verified its veracity everything is great the more data is coming to my to me every time but how am i going to use the data what is the value of that data to the enterprise fantastic i have that information as to who's got covid across the city and i know so i'm you know i can give that information to a media house or i can give information but if i don't use it right if i don't give information to the public saying all right here's where the doctor can be given here's where what services can be given to you that value that i will extract from that data is going to be minimal when you start on a big data analytics project you need to very clearly know what is the value that you're going to derive or extract from the data that you are collecting or that is being processed you know yes it's yes it's very important to know how you are going to process it what are you going to do uh, how are you going to store it but it's very crucial to know what am i going to do with this data how am i going to what am i what is the value of that to the organization right now we sp- the, the so let's just look at uh, some of the some of them in a little bit more detail won't spend too much time because we've already you know i'm sure you have got the gist of it but we are really talking about huge expansion of data which is you know uh, we talked about the one growth of data from almost 0 beta zeta bytes in 2009 we're talking about 44 zeta bytes by 
the data for uh, 2021 is not out yet what this means is the growth is there but it also means that we have to have more storage and a cheaper way of managing all the storage the volumes have to be managed at a lower cost velocity the kind of data that is coming to us every 60 seconds you can see on the right hand of the screen that almost 100,000 tweets happen every 60 seconds close to about 11 million Instagram posts 168 million emails and there are almost 270 new mobile users now all this is being possible because what you see on the left side of the screen from a mainframe to a client server to web applications to mobile the journey has been you know has allowed us to keep to control from earlier mainframes of storage uh, you could just add storage storage cost was very high and you had these you know uh, tall mainframes with lots of storage uh, stuck away in a data center you then got client servers where you did you did a lot of processing in the front end but still the storage was at the back end and then you had web applications where again the, a lot of processing the, the touch and feel was in the front end on the portal processing was all back now what's happened is with the ubiquitous mobile available a lot of storage is there for you on your mobile itself you get close to about 8 gb storage on your mobile a mobile phone which is almost the size of a size of a palm you have 8 gb of storage available so storage costs have come down the cloud is available and this is another reason for both increasing velocity of of data and also the uh, waste storage is uh, grown tremendously in our own hands we have the control we spoke about uh, different types of data, structured data, whether it's databases, data warehouses, enterprise systems, CRM, our inputs into a big data. Unstructured data, uh, which could be audio, video streams, GPS, etc., form, and uh, XML, email, etc., are all uh, give you the variety in the, data, in, in the big data. We spoke about data page packages getting lost, data mining is required to make sure that data is consistent and the uncertainty is all removed and we spoke about this so i'm going to skip this slide making bad creating value can't emphasize how important this is that you need to have uh, mine the data and analyze the data so that you can find out what is the challenge for the organization and how can uh, big data projects help